welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. So I've actually been meaning to make this video for a long time. Uh, I have this game called Smashing 4, and it's one of the games I play. And I have to say, it is the worst game on the planet. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. I mean, the, the developers are so ridiculously greedy. It's insane. They keep pushing up the maximum level for the characters, right? And so what does that mean? Every time you max your character out, which is ridiculously difficult. Let me switch to the character tab, and you'll see up here at the top, I have a few that are maxed out. The max level is 18. To go from 17 to 18, it is 125,000 in gold <laughs> i can't even explain to you how long it takes to get that let's say you were to buy 125,000 gold if you scroll down to the bottom it would cost you 4,000 gems to get a, a thousand gold how much is 4,000 gems well it's about 26 bucks that doesn't even get you enough to upgrade a character at the final level right and it Actually, it says first purchase 7,000. Maybe that means the next purchase. I don't know. I don't want to even do it. Let me cancel out of that. But uh, uh, yeah, I would never want to do it. Look at this. 10,000 gems for an ultimate orb that you get every, who knows, 500 orbs. 10,000 gems. That is over $50, right? It's just unbelievable. And anyway, if you got this uh, ultimate orb, look at this. It will give you two, and they've upped the cards on these, mind you. If you've been playing the game for a while, you have been robbed for a long time. Now you get uh, 200 to 258 or so epic cards. Let's go over here, and you look at this is the highest epic that I have, right? Uh, 200 cards won't even get you from level 14 to level 15, meaning to play in the higher brackets, it's impossible. So I want to point out that I've been playing for a while and I took like two, three weeks off and I dropped down in trophies. Now I'm in the low 2000 range and it's ridiculous. If I search for a player, right, I'll do that right now by clicking on battle. You'll see it's going to take some time, maybe even up to a minute. And then probably what's going to happen is I'm going to face off against a bot that is a much lower level than me. And so if I beat the bot, which, okay, for sure I will, then what happens? You get 10 trophies. And then it will match you with another player with maxed out cards that probably your cards won't work against theirs. And you'll lose 30 trophies. So you'll end up playing four games to get ahead 10 trophies because you lose 30 against the other guy and you have to win four games at 10 trophies apiece to even go up by 10. So getting back to a competitive bracket, impossible. They've also made this game unscalable. They keep re releasing new characters. However, the dynamics of these characters or how they work against each other or balancing the game... They put out balance changes every three, four months instead of every month. It's funny because you would think if there are other games out there who are handling this properly, that it should be no problem for them, right? Also, the game doesn't scale because there's only four characters, right? And those four character combinations equate to only a few things. You'll see that for sure these are bots. They're all level 14. I can come over here and uh, easily kill this with two hits, bang. Well, maybe not because it's the first, uh, if the first hit and you get a deduction of 40% on your first move. However, there is absolutely no way that this could compete with me. Plus, it's a bot because if you look, they have certain characters that don't work well together, right? So anyways, uh, not to, just showing you a little bit of gameplay, uh, not not going hardcore here to show you my, my best moves or something like that. It's more to complain that if you spend any money on this game, you're wasting your time. Plus, the developers have got to be going crazy because the reality is nobody is buying this stupid game anymore. And so every time you launch the game, there's a super deal offer on some gems and a chest and whatever. But what a goddamn waste it is. These guys are so unbelievably greedy, and it shows in every move they do. Hopefully, I'm able to save you a few bucks by... Uh, I'm recording the video, and I pressed that by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I've almost beat them. There's absolutely no way this bot can beat me. But I'm pretty sure when I put this video out, these guys are going to be upset because I complained on their forums once. And I said, hey, you guys are ridiculously greedy. It's impossible to level stuff up. And they have. it's funny because they have reduced things. For example, uh, they have lowered uh, the requirement of... Uh, cards to bring certain characters up in level for example the rare cards like the uh, the card that's being played right now the wizard that's a rare card they lowered the requirements for that 
And uh, when they did that, what happened? It, it was easier to level the card up, but not easy, right? I mean, I'm not even sure. Someone do the math. Put it in the comments. How long would it take you to go up from level one, for example, to up to 18? How much time, if you don't pay for the amount of gold that you have to, to, to use, etc.? All I have to say is don't waste your money. This is the absolute worst game on the market. I should have made this video a long time ago, but now it's even more sickening because I can't even play. Because I'm below the, you know, I used to be at 32, 3300 trophies, but if you stop playing, it just keeps dropping you, dropping you. And the problem, there are not enough players. You'll be playing bots where they give you super low levels, and then what happens? You can never get back into a competitive range. I hope these guys go bankrupt and never make a game again. All right, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Don't download a game from GWA ever, right? Until next time, I'm out.